Howdy folks, it's Rob with the MTG Investor and I'm bringing you a little alert today. The card I want to focus on is Magus of the Tabernacle, which is a Planar Chaos Rare. It's a white and three, two, six body. All creatures have, quote, at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice this creature unless you pay one. It's been a, kind of a big mover already in the last um, 36 hours. I'm actually surprised it kind of took this long to catch on but people are starting to play it. And I suspect that the Eldrazi deck is gonna have some sort of banning, probably Ayabugan, maybe even Eldrazi Temple. So Eldrazi will probably turn into more of a, I don't know, I don't know what it's gonna morph into. It'll, it'll probably still be playable deck, but it just won't be as powerful. And a deck that's showed up in, in a, a few places in the last month is this red-white control deck or red-white land destruction deck. And Magus of the Tabernacle is being run as a 4 of. There's a deck by James Allen. He's not playing the original version of the deck. But anyway, he's playing his version, or this most current version. This was from posting on February 6th on SEG. And in his uh, modern deck, he's running one Archangel of Ties, three Goblin Dark Dwellers, and four Magus of the Moon. And two with Johnny Vengeance, and then some things like Ghostly Prison, Journey to Nowhere, Lightning Boat, Lightning Hicks, Anger of the Gods, Boom Bust, Molten Rain, and Stone Rain. So... He's got Stone Rain, Molten Rain, and Boom Bust. Boom Bust works exceptionally well when you have three mana. It's basically a Stone Rain, and you put a fetch land out for your third land, and then you tap the two non-fetches, and you boom, and you destroy target opponent's land, uh, any land you want, and then you target your fetch land with the spell also. And then in response, you fetch. And that way, you don't lose a land, but they do for two mana. Then they have Magus of the Tabernacle, well, let's, let's go to Goblin Dark World Dwellers, which works really well in this deck because it can bring back a spell for converted mana cost 3 less. So they can, for 5 mana, they, they get out their 4-4 four, four menace goblins. And then they can buy back a Stone Rain, a Molten Rain, or a Boom Bust. And, or they can bring back Anger of the Gods. There's the Anger of the Gods, uh, Boom Bust, Molten Rain, Stone Rain. But still, they get double value out of those cards. And of course, the Magus of the Tabernacle is to keep their creatures off the board because they can't afford, they got to choose between developing their mana or keeping a creature on the board and it's not real easy. Oh, they have a Johnny also to keep lands tapped down. Anyway, it's a pretty, it's a pretty fun deck and it's been around for a while. James Allen's version is different from the versions that I've seen before. The previous version I saw was on January 9th. It was posted. It was a modern deck. It was white red, white red land destruction. It's running Avalanche Riders and uh, Avon Mind Sensor, Fulminator Mage, and it also ran um, Magus of the Tabernacle and a Johnny. But it, it ran a few different things. It had an Ensnaring Bridge, and it, run, it ran Wildfire Main. And I was a little surprised that that didn't run Restoration Angel for the Avalanche Riders, so you could just get val more value out of them. But anyway, they didn't. Now, the original version of this deck that I first saw was back, was posted on SCG on February 5th, 2015, so a whole year ago, and it's called Red White Kiki Panza by Atomic, and this was a Magic Online Daily event they got first place. So they ran Avalanche Riders, Fulminator Mage, Restoration Angel, Revelark, Soulfire Grandmaster, uh, Wall of Omens, Red Acroma, and Kiki Jiki. So Kiki Jiki could just keep pumping out Avalanche Riders or Fulminator Mages, Restoration Angel could keep Avalanche Riders coming back so they could avoid Echo or just keep popping them back so they destroy land. What I really loved about this deck was that they ran the four Soulfire Grandmaster. They ran a single Angel's Grace, which for a split second is basically uncounterable. You can't lose the game. And they could buy it back with Soulfire Grandmaster, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, I've invested a lot in, in Angel's Graces. If you watched my previous video from about a week ago or so, um, I was telling you in modern, I, I picked up a lot of Angel's Graces. I picked up a full playset for a pretty cheap, and that's been a big payoff because they're up to about $25, $30 each, the, each foil. So I turned that $15 into about $100. Anyway, the card that I'm putting out the alert on is the Magus of the Tabernacle. And they're sold out on SCG at $0.60 cents or $0.59. Cents. And right now, I think they're going for about $3 each. I picked up, I didn't get them at 59 cents, they're on my buy list, I should have bought them a couple weeks ago, but they've actually been on my buy list for about two months now, and I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, but I should have done it, so now I had to buy them at three, and I feel happy and confident buying them at three dollars each, 
because I think they're probably going to pop up to 10. If I think this deck's going to get a lot more play, and I could see that card going to 10. So I turn $3 into $10 if you buy. I bought several play sets. I got them for, I got mine actually just moments ago for about $10, anywhere from $10 to $12 on eBay. And there's still some more at right around just under 12 bucks, which is just under $3 a card. That's what I'm doing. If you're, take a look at it yourself, see if you like that idea and see if you can make some money off it. There's some other cards in here that may, in this deck that may be of value. Avalanche Riders, you can get those for, you know, probably $4 a playset or something. They might be worth picking up. Uh, Revelark is another card that was in this original deck from a year ago. There's a one of in the deck. I picked up quite a few Revelarks too because I think Revelark could be a player in them. Um, Revelark's a card that you wouldn't normally see. White doesn't get played much in modern and it's not a card you would normally see in decks but now that twin's gone you know it's kind of one of those cards that might show up as soon as the eldrazi deck is uh, taken care of ban hammered whatever you want to call it anyway uh take a look Mag magus of the tabernacle might be something you like to pick up see if you can get a quick pop on uh, this is rob with mtg investor peace out folks